Hi, in this first tutorial I want to work through a very simple project. I'm going to create a 2D view and a 3D view and zoom out so I can see my entire project both in the 2D and the 3D views. I'm going to select an external wall from the wall menu and just snap a simple wall to my grid at any random position. So a very simple house. Note the lengths of the walls are indicated in the uh, status bar on the bottom left of the screen. And putting in a different kind of wall, a small supporting wall and now a non-supporting wall just to vary the style that we see in the 2D plan. Note as we draw the walls in the 2D plan it also appears in the 3D model. Walls drawn in the 3D model will also appear in the 2D model. Selecting windows from the window catalogue I can select my window style, click in the position on the wall where I want to place the window. Note the small arrow in the window as you place the window indicates the opening direction of the window. I can select any window and with the delete key delete it. I'm actually snapping to the grid here. And if I click on the window itself I can bring up the window properties box where I can change the sill height, width and height of the window. And now I can add a door. Again, door properties. I can choose a door from the door catalogue and view the 3D object image of the door by clicking on the 3D button. And click in the wall where I want the door. I've got the door opening outwards which I don't want so I can simply select the door, delete it and delete it with the delete key and place the door and select the door looking at the door properties you can see there are many kinds of different doors that can be selected, uh, including some internal doors, which I'll just quickly add on my internal walls. And I can now examine my 3D model by rotating it. Now to add a second floor. I can change my floor to ceiling height here and decide what to transfer from my ground floor to the second floor. And in this case I'm not going to take the windows and doors, I'm just going to select the wall. Say OK 
and see the walls actually appear in the second floor. Now to add a roof. I can look at the 3D image of the roof to decide which roof sides to apply gable to. Select the side and then select the roof profile style. Note that the wall does not go to the full height of the roof apex and to do that I must edit the floor height uh, on the second floor. It was uh, set to 2.8 and setting that to something like 4 meter will bring the wall height up to the roof apex. So my wall height in the second floor is now greater so that it can reach the apex of the roof. Hi, 